Hey guys, uh, welcome back. And uh, we're almost done with our foodie food tracker. It's looking beautiful. Uh, we have our conditions ready. We have all the data populated. Uh, we have our uh, emojis ready, which are based on conditions and all that. And we're, we're successfully able to fetch the APIs too. All right, so now it's time to add charts. All right, so let's go to Google and search for charts.js. I've already have done that. All right, so let, let's click on uh, the first link that you get after you look for chart.js. Right, so just click on that. And let's click on uh, get started. All right, uh, but before we go into this, I want to uh, show you guys what this chart, these charts can do. These are HTML5 page charts. All right, so uh, you have tons of charts here. Right, which we can use it in our app if you want to but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to keep it pretty simple all right you could go ahead and add any of these but it will need a bit of tweaking all right it also tells you how to configure it here how to set it up right, so all this if you just go through it you'll have a you'll get an understanding of how to work with that so let's go to uh home all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, uh, canvas ID from here. All right, I'm going to copy that, uh, go into my HTML, my VS code, and just below this. All right, so where is this? Uh, under column D6, B5, I'm going to add that in. All right. So it's not going to work now because uh, we need to do a bit of uh, settings and changes to this. So what I'm going to do to this is uh, I'm going to add a div class uh, column D6. I may remove this, but uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, uh, I'm just going to add in call MD6. Let's see if I want to change that later. All right. Close that. Save class call MD6. All right. Here. All right. So let's go and hit refresh. Let's see if it's fine. All right. So, yes, it's made some space and it's taking the uh, width, uh, height and width of this canvas. We're going to rectify that later. Right, so let's get, let's get back to our charts.js page, okay, the website. And just below that, you have something called a script. All right. I'm going to copy this entire thing. Control C. And I'm going to go back to my HTML and just below this div, paste that in. Now let's go back to food calorie finder and hit refresh. Just want to make sure that everything is working fine here. All right. So there are no changes. We haven't done any changes yet. Uh, now we need to uh, get in the CDN uh, for this. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a place called CDN.js. Uh, CDNJS.com and I'm going to add in uh, charts.js here charts.js all right the first link that you get uh, that is the cdn that we need i'm going to copy this all right and i'm going to come back to my html page and uh, just about this script i'm going to add that all right so let's go back to our home page we don't need both of this now let's close these and hit refresh. Nice. All right. So we have the charts displaying here, but we need to uh, manipulate this data. All right. And uh, we'll do that in the next video. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, and uh, welcome back. So we imported uh, CDN uh, JS uh, from. Uh, we imported the chart.js from the CDN server here. All right, so it's loaded into our website and uh, into a food calorie tracker, and it's being displayed here right now. 
All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I want to remove this div because I think this is creating a problem. I'm going to remove the uh, column D6 from here. I don't think I need that. I don't think uh, I'm going to copy this uh, entire thing from here because it's uh, loading in the wrong div. So I'm going to uh, paste this below. Uh, the second div over here all right so after end before end if there are two more divs here i'm going to paste that there and let's go ahead and hit refresh let's see if it's loading in the right place right all right so it's loading in the right place so that's where you need to add it you don't need to add a div as well but uh, just to be safe let's keep it in not that it makes any big difference because it's uh, it does not have a class so it does not have any attributes attached it's just plain old div all right so what i need to do right now is i want to change everything red blue yellow green purple orange etc to the values of uh, this table here all right so what i'm going to do is uh, we need to put it in the right uh, we need to put it in the right sections right so we have to uh, keep the sequence as it is Right, so what we can do right now is uh, I'm going to copy this uh, from my uh, command terminal as much as possible. All right, so I'm going to start from uh, fat total underscore grams. Uh, was that it? It's the first one. Oh, okay the first one is uh, sorry the first one is carbohydrates we need to add carbohydrates here uh, where is mr carbohydrates right so i'm gonna add that Control c and the next was uh, cholesterol i'm gonna add that as well and the next one was saturated fat Add saturated fat as well here the next one was total fat uh, what was the other one other one was this one was fiber content uh, i'm using my uh, mouse pad on my laptop and it's a pain when you're copy pasting stuff you'll see uh, mr hyphen at potassium we need to fix that um add in then potassium. then i'm gonna put in a comma again and open up a couple of uh quotes all right so potassium is done i'm gonna add protein And I'm gonna add sodium C V sugar control C and control V. We all right now uh, we need to change the label, all right. So the label is this, all right. We need to change that uh, to the uh, uh total number of uh, the nutritional value of particular item or the food item that we have mentioned here so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to come to uh, the labels here okay and i'm going to remove this number of quotes and i'm going to say nutritional values of uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my h1 here copy this entire thing okay and i'm gonna come back down here i'm gonna paste that in here all right so now if i hit refresh all right it's gonna say nutritional value of currywurst and you can see all the data here but this data is not accurate because we haven't yet uh, got these values from the table all right so let's go ahead and do that 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, these values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these. Okay. Give some space. I'm going to come up here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste this entire li from here till the carbohydrates or except for the first one. Control Z that come down right, and I'm going to paste it just below data. Control V. Okay, we're not done yet. We need to format this a bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take these things off from here. Uh, I'm going to take uh, here till here. Let's pan. Let's go ahead and first remove the spans. Uh, there's an easier way to do it in uh, yes code. All right, where you can select multiple uh, tags that look similar. Oops. Uh, but uh, right, let's just get this done quickly. All right. Uh, so that's been removed. I'm gonna remove these now. The beginning of the li tags. Let's remove that. Let's. Uh, Let's see about that. Let's see about this as well. This fiber content. Oh, I'm just uh, making my videos longer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any choice, but I hope that you got the point of what you can do. And, and now I'm going to save, all right? Let's go ahead and uh, go back to our browser. Hit refresh. What's up? Is there something wrong? Looks like we have an error. Uh, okay. Seems to be the problem. Uh, let's go ahead and check and hit refresh again. Inspect. What's up? Unexpected number one five. Expected syntax error on 105. Hey, where are you? It's 115. Divided chart, my chart. 400, height 400. We haven't seen anything here. Uh, what exactly is the problem? People. Carbohydrates, cholesterol, nutritional values, it's fine. Sugar, sodium, protein, I hope I haven't missed anything else. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Six, nine. Fine. I'm not sure why this is happening here. It says uncaught errors. All right, it says thirty five. Whereas what is thirty five? Cholesterol. So that's the error there. Pi dot zero cholesterol mg. Hey guys, I'm really sorry. This was a stupid mistake on my side. I need to add a comma for every uh, 
Nako here. Right. Sorry for wasting your time. Right. Good. Oh, all right. So <laughs> uh, we obviously have to uh, take care of the height and width of the chart. And uh, the way to do that is pretty easy. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you'll have to come down to your options here. And just after this curly braces, uh, you'll have to give a uh, responsive uh, as uh, true okay, so that it fits in. Then there's something called as a main aspect ratio. All right, uh, sorry, maintain aspect ratio. So I'm going to say maintain a caps aspect. This is camel case, R A D I O. And this is going to be false. All right, so I'm going to put in the comma. Don't miss the comma, guys. Don't miss the comma. It's going to make your life hell. <laughs> uh, there's a comma here. All right, it's fine. I haven't done anything about that. All right, so let's go back and hit refresh. Nice. There you go, guys. Uh, let's check this chat out. I'm so happy that it's, uh, you know, we got a great output of this. Uh, potassium is high. All right, so let's check potassium. That's the, uh, that's the one with the uh, largest value here. So potassium is off the charts. It's great. Let's go and add it salt. Let's see if we get an error uh, alert message here. Yes, we do. And yep, sodium is off the charts. Great. Uh, let's add sugar. Yep, so sugar is done. All right, so it looks good. Granola, my favorite. I've been adding, I haven't eaten granola yet, but I keep adding it because I think it's easier to remember for me. All right, so granola is good. And uh, let's go and look at what? Fried rice. So fried rice is unanswered for calories. All right, the gym widget, the workout widget is looking good. Uh, giving us accurate, sort of accurate readings. Right, but this is uh, uh, there's something wrong here as well. It says go for a brisk walk and it says 36 minutes while as jogging is 46 minutes. So let's go and have a look there. We need to fix that. Right, so what values did we put here? Go for a brisk walk. 294. Right, so yeah, so the value for jog is much lesser than the value for walk. All right, so uh, anyways, uh, we can rectify this if we wanted to. Uh, let's, uh, you know, add in a dummy number for now. Let's say I'm going to burn 378 calories. Okay, so uh, just to, you know, keep, keep things and make things look a bit real because these are not researched well. All right, so uh, I'm going to keep that at uh, 378 for jog. Then uh, power yoga looks fine. Maybe that looks fine. Then a gym workout. Looks good, then uh, yeah, so uh, even for brisk walk, that's fine. Let's keep it at that. And so this is just uh, a project for uh, us to work on. These are not research numbers, so uh, you'll have to uh, do good research uh, to throw in numbers uh, and facts when you put this on live. 